eight warning concerns about evil spirits. This is for my believers. There are going to be a lot of people that you're going to come in contact with that you know or don't know just because you're anointed, just because you believe in Jesus Christ. Your anointing is going to disturb so many demon and demonic spirits and other people that sometimes it's going to be overwhelming for you. So I want to come on here and warn you. I want to warn my brothers and sisters um, and just let them know about the eight warnings concerning evil spirits. Because a lot of people don't know how to detect demons. They don't know when witches are around. They don't know when demons are around. Diamonds, dominoes, derivatives, Ekba in the mighty name of Jesus. They don't know because these people look just like us. These witches walking around here, tarot readers, all this nonsense. They walk around portraying to be just like us. Us anointing ones, us chosen ones. Okay? So you need to be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the type of people you talk to on a daily basis. Even people on live streams. Demons are coming to your live streams and try to debunk you from what you got going on. You got to know when you being tested and you got to know when you being attacked. A lot of us chosen ones, a lot of us divine spirits, believers in Christ Jesus, we get attacked all the time. Even by our family members. Husband, wife, children. But you got to learn how to identify these demons and these witches because you got to be able to cast them out. You got to be able to cast them out. So I'm going to go over the eight ways. Eight ways warning concerns evil spirits. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out and when he's come he findeth it empty swept and garnished then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first some of y'all are in these toxic relationships some of y'all are in these relationships with narcissists People that have narcissist personality disorders. I've been married to a person that has narcissist personality disorder for 15 years and did not know it. It took me 15 years to understand what was going on with me. Once you let go of these demons and God remove you from them, do not let them back. Do not let them back. Because as we see here, as they goeth, he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. When they come back, they're going to be ten times worse than what they was the first time. And you can read on that in Matthews chapter 12, verse 43 through 45. Number two, neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. Take heed in what I'm saying. Because a lot of y'all are already encountering this stuff. And y'all don't even know that it's spiritual attacks among you. Number three. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. You got to have faith in God. You got to continue to pray. 
You got to continue to seek God's name. Ask God for that discerning spirit. Ask God for that hedge of protection. Okay, we want to have our eyes woke with the new year coming in. We don't want to be walking blind no more. We don't have too many demons attaching and draining all our energy. All of you empaths. You wonder why you so tired because there's so many demons attaching onto you and wearing you down. Number four, resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter four, verse seven. Keep speaking life of Christ. The more you keep speaking life of Christ and staying in the word, Bible study, reading the scripture here and there a day. Don't lose faith. Sometimes we wait till everything be going so good for us. It is going good. Soon as something happens bad, that's when we want to tap back into our Bible. No, continue to read your Bible through the good and the bad so you can be walking, you can be ready, and you can have that armor on. And you'll know when to identify when these witches and these demons and these warlocks start trying to attack you. Attack your family, attack your marriage, attack your school, your job, your children, your car, your house, your finance, your mindset, your mental set. Wake up, people. Number five, be sober, be vigilantly, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion. Walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist the fast and faith. If you intoxicated and drunk all the time, how are you going to know? How are you going to know who's who? First Peter chapter five, verse eight and nine. Number six, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh and not of God. And this is that spirit of the Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. First John chapter 4, verse 1 through 3. There is only one God. The Omega. There is no other. If any man worship the beast, number seven. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark. In his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up before and ever. And they have no rest day nor night or worship the beast in his image. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Revelations chapter 14 verse 9 through 11. Be wise people. We bring a lot of hurt and a lot of pain on ourselves. Because we do not pay attention to the red flags. If we stayed our tails in the word of God and in the book, in the Bible, and constantly ministering and preaching and teaching and learning and studying biblically, we will be ready for war. Do you hear me? We will be ready for anything that tries to come and attack us. I got people right now trying to attack my calling. But they ain't going to stop nothing. <laughs> Not this time. They ain't going to stop nothing this time. Because I'm woke and I don't have any distractions. I'm no longer in that uh, toxic marriage anymore. For 15 years. Okay? Now it's time for deliverance and revival. And make more people aware of these demons. 
who have been raised by witches and are now warlocks and are getting into these marriages and devouring their wives. <clears throat> and we have no idea what is going on spiritually. Number eight, they are the spirits of the devils, working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to battle of that great day of God Almighty. Revelations chapter 16, verse 14. Those are the eight warnings concerning evil spirits. It's just crazy how these demons and these evil spirits try to knock you off your path. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. You got to stay in that Bible so you will be able to identify what's going on. Amen. Oh. But y'all stay blessed. This your girl, Crystal. I do go by Minister Crystal when I'm speaking the word. I'm a woman of many talents. God is so good. And you guys just stay strong. A lot of you guys are being attacked. And you have no idea why people are doing or saying things or coming for you that don't even know you. That's how you know it's a spiritual attack and it's demonic. So, you guys stay prayed up. And I will be coming back on here doing more live streams with the word. So, you guys stay blessed. And I'll see y'all later.